This episode is an interesting one. I like the combination of storytelling and visual storytelling. I don't like it when one takes a break for the other to get the spotlight. High level writers can do both simultaneously. And that's what we got in this episode. So let's get into the details. The episode starts with Yoshino and his two friends talking about movies in the movie club. I'm starting to get worried by the number of times movies have come up in this manga. I hope the writer is not using them as inspiration or trying to learn something because movies are not stories, since they are not written by writers. They are just entertainment. Even when the company hires writers, they are not allowed to write properly, for various reasons. I heard some funny stories from writers who went through that process. The author of Gangsta usually watches only movies. By the way, that is a great story. Too bad it is only 12 episodes. Anyway, they are talking about Scary Movie, which apparently has 7 parts. Who knew? I think I watched only one of them. And then some guys came and ended up beating him again. I found this character interesting. He is not weak, but he is not strong also. If he was weak, he would do just what his friends did, or comply with what he's being asked of him. In the previous episode, he did not keep his mouth shut and said those things to that girl and did end up getting beat even more. And the same did happen in this episode. He could have left that DVD there or come back later when they were gone, but he wanted to stand up to them. But then he gets surprised when he faces the consequences. That's pretty naive of him. But it seems that this is about to change since he met that spirit. I found it funny that he has a better relationship with this spirit that thinks humans do not have any value than most people around him. Speaking of the spirit, he has gotten my attention from the beginning. He seems like a very interesting character. There is one thing that did happen in this episode with the spirit that was not clear. I'm talking about what the spirit said about the heart or soul of a human. Now if the writer meant it that for the character and his power, then that is great. It makes him a lot more interesting and intriguing. Also, morally he has no restrictions. He has no problem with whatever he does. So the writer can do a lot of things with the character. But if that was meant for the perspective of the story and not the character, and the writer used the character to make that point, then this is weird. At least for now. Even if this is going to be explained later on, that still doesn't make this good writing. If you look at things as they were shown in this episode, then the soul of a human is a crystal. And he can manipulate them. If so, then this story is science fiction, and not dark fantasy. But here's the thing, everything else in the story looks like fantasy or supernatural, and that's why that scene looks out of place. Anyway, the last thing that the spirit said to Yoshino was that you can kill someone that you hate, and I will sanction you fully. About the last line, I thought he meant that if there is someone that you want dead, tell me and I will kill them for you. But right before Yuji did intervene, it looks like he was about to do something. So maybe the spirit made it possible for him to use cursed energy, even though he did not train. Yuji did notice that he has cursed energy since he saw that little spirit. If indeed that spirit can affect the cursed energy like that, then maybe he is a lot more powerful than he is showing. But not in Satoru's level. He said to Kento that I would be in trouble if Satoru came to fight me. Anyway... The fight between them was impressive. The writer does an amazing job at fights. It is surprising how technical the fights are, considering what type of story Jujutsu Kaisen is. It is always great to see when the writer goes beyond what is expected or necessary. The fights are so fluid and the moves that the character makes are not random and also they make sense story-wise. That's why they are so engaging. And the fight between Kanto and the spirit was the same. When he was talking to Yuji and did not want to bring him to, I started thinking maybe he will die. I hope that's not the case, since I really like Kento as a character. There's nothing ordinary about him, everything he does or says is always interesting. This type of character is my favorite. This is where you can truly see what the writer is truly capable of. You cannot see the skills fully of a racing driver if they are not driving a racing car. Kento and Satoru are great, they should start a podcast. While they were fighting, the spirit did change the form of his legs, and then it did change back to normal. That doctor said that once the shape has been changed, the body cannot go back to normal. Now, could it be that he was able to change back because he is a spirit, 
or because he was the one who did change the shape in the first place. What if those humans can be changed back to normal using cursed energy, but they don't know how to do it? Anyway, at the end we saw what happens when Kento has to work overtime. The spirit was surprised, and I don't think he is a character that gets surprised easily, since he seems to be very knowledgeable, and also he likes experimenting. He said that his cursed energy is increasing. The interesting thing here is that Kento did stop using his weapon, and he used his tie on his hand like a combat fighter uses a glove. He said at the beginning of the fight that his style is unsuited to fight against the spirit, so maybe that's why he's changing his fighting style. But considering that the spirit wants to get close and reach his spirit and reshape him, the logical solution to this problem is to fight long range and not close range. There is nothing closer than hand to hand combat. Unless Kento thinks that the best defense is attack. Maybe he thinks that the spirit is faster than him, so he will not going to be able to keep him at bay or evade him. So the only solution is to take him head on and see who is the best hand to hand fighter. I like where this fight is heading, I cannot wait to see who comes up on top. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.